All right, I'm a Frost fans, and we'll welcome back to the video. Hit the like button down below. Hit the sub. Hit the hit the hit the hit the, hit the, hit the subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. Hit the little bell. It'll let you guys know whenever I post a video. Come on, baby, come on. 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 Quick shout out to uh, dirt, dirty, dirt, dirty, 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 dirty. Dirty, 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 Dominic. But guys, 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 go check him out on Supercard. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a fan. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a fan. He's a, 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 he's a fan. He's a, he's a fantastic guy. He's an all Supercard player. He's a fantastic friend. Here's, 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 Here's 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 his cards are very perfect. Ten to keep 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 the keep 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 the fantastic work, keep being awesome. Here's team as well. If you guys have to go check it out. Is I'm is I'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can actually get tons and tons of XP to actually level up all your tiers all the way up to Legion tier and higher, pretty much. So yeah, so yeah, this video is actually be really cool. I'm actually gonna be showing you guys how you guys can pretty much get in, in a, pretty much an infinite amount of XP, pretty much. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm super excited. If you guys are excited. Let me know in the comments, guys. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about this. But, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to get pretty much an infinite amount of XP. Well, pretty much how to get an infinite amount of Season 11 XP. It's going to be a lot of fun. And, and, the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the and the and the reason and the reason why I'm actually saying that on pretty much how to get pretty much an infinite amount of XP is be is because is be is be is be is be is be. Is be is because is because is is because is because so you guys can actually level up from is to actually level up from pretty much the lowest tier, which is SummerSlam 24, all the way up to um, pretty much all the way up to Legion tier. But even if you guys are even past the SummerSlam tier, I want to show you guys how to level up from Metal tier to Ink tier to Invasion tier, then Feral tier, and then Legion tier, and then higher and so on and so forth, pretty much. But is that? But here's the. But here's the. But here's the thing though. But here's the thing though. You guys have to get over. But yeah, but yeah, you got. But yeah, you guys have to get over six, six hundred, six, six, six hundred, six, six hundred, six, 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 six hundred, six hundred thousand XP in order to even move on. Well, well, pretty much to even get maxed out on the XP because I believe the max for it is over six hundred thousand XP, which is pretty nuts. Now let me actually show you. Let me now let now let me actually show you guys. Uh, let me actually show you guys a few different ways of actually getting a whole lot of XP, you guys. So let me actually show you guys the first way of actually getting a whole lot of XP, and and of course, and of course, and of course, and, and guys, and guys, the first way of actually getting XP is pretty much going to be on the campaign. Okay, guys. So with the first thing on the campaign, as you guys know, with the XP you guys can get, you guys can actually get a whole lot of, you guys can get a whole lot of tier cards on the campaign, and actually get tons of XP. As I said, though, here's the thing. I think, and I think once you guys hit Feral tier. And actually, Legion tier, then you guys will actually start getting tons and tons more of XP, which would be really cool. Because the bigger amounts of it, the bigger the bigger cards you get, the more amounts of XP that you guys get per card, which is really cool. So then you guys will be able to get tons and tons more. And not to mention, whenever you guys get like more cards combined with like equipment cards, manager cards, action cards, you know, all that type of stuff, you know, other big cards, then you guys will be able to get more XP out of that pack, you know, the normal. So that's actually what's really good about it. That, that's why that's that's what that's that's why that's that's why that's why that's why with campaign campaigns probably like one of your best ways of actually getting XP no matter what now if I actually had to make now if I had to make a guess on like one of the other good game modes sur survive sur sur survive survivor is actually really cool because 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 no because no matter because no because 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 no because no because no matter because no matter because no matter what no matter what no matter what if you got if you if you guys if you guys actually get a big win then you guys will actually get a guaranteed tier pool of your tier card of the tier that you're on and not to mention you guys will get a whole lot of XP per that card I believe so if you guys keep winning a whole lot of survivor matches then you guys can actually pretty much get a guaranteed tier card pool every single time to actually upgrade your tiers and stuff which is really cool and also get tons of XP as you're going along the way so that's, so that's actually what's really cool about it I actually like that that's why I think that's why I think the uh, uh, survivor is definitely a really good uh, game mode to actually have. Okay, guys, another big way of actually getting tons of XP is definitely going to be in the Money of the Bank store, and of course, a lot of the main ways of actually getting money is pretty much getting a whole lot of super coins. 
it's pretty it's pretty i mean there's i mean there's i mean there's a lot of different ways of actually getting a whole lot of super coins because that's actually the main way of actually getting a whole lot of big stuff is definitely gonna be in super coins but guy but guys the but guys the but guys the but guys the but guys but guys the but guys, though, pretty, but guys, though, pretty much one of the big ways of actually getting tons of XP is actually getting the guaranteed Kofi Kingston card or even buying, like, a guaranteed single Feral card. Or even you can even do a bronze, silver, gold, and platinum pack, try to get some XP. You can even do grab bags, maybe get lucky with the big pulls. You never know. Or you can even buy, I mean, even if you guys are even if you guys are at one of these tiers, pretty much like a metal tier, fair, uh, ink tier, or even invasion tier, you know? As I said, no matter no matter what tier you guys are at, as long as you guys are at that tier and you guys get that card, you guys will be able to get XP for it, which is always nice. So either way, though, the money in the bank is definitely a really good. It's definitely really good because because then you guys can also buy the draft picks to actually get a whole lot of like you know to pretty much try to get a whole bunch of like tier cards and stuff on the draft board and stuff like that, which is always cool. So yeah, but as I said, but as I said though, that is actually one of the main ways of actually doing it. But but here's but but here's but here's the thing though, that's actually not the main way. That is that is that is one of the good ways, but it's not like the ma it's not like the main main way of actually getting a whole lot of XP. One of the one one of the one of one of the main ways of actually getting tons and tons of XP is you guys is you guys is you guys can actually make your cards. You guys you guys can you guys can actually you guys can actually make a single card of a metal card for cheap, and then you guys can also make a pro for cheap. But no matter what, is if you guys are at that tier, you guys can make all of this stuff for cheap and actually get tons of XP at the same time. That is why on the catalog, because since they made it really cheap right now, these cards are really cheap, but not to mention you guys get tons of XP. Then you guys can do that the same thing for ink tier as well. It pretty much it pretty much goes the same thing for metal tier, ink tier, uh, and um, invasion tier and stuff. And also feral tier as well. Yeah, feral tier. And it also even goes for legion tier as well. But the thing but the thing is that you guys have to you guys have to unlock that tier. In order for you even to even be able to do anything, but of course, but of course, once you guys are once you guys unlock it, then you guys can actually get all of that as well. Whenever you guys actually pro a card, you guys can actually you guys can actually pro like you got you got you guys can you guys can actually pro like you guys can actually pro you guys can actually pro like two uh two two men two 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 men two men two manager two manager cards and actually get it and actually get tons of XP just from proing a guarantee just from proing a manager card. Of the tier that you're on so if, so let's say you're in on invasion tier and you end and if you pro this ted dibiase card you guys will get you guys will get at least like a couple thousand xp just from it that's why i said that's why manager cards are really good as well because and also and, and it's also the same thing for action cards you guys can you guys can pro manager cards and you guys can also pro action cards and you guys will be able to get a whole lot of xp from it as from that tier from the tier that you guys are currently on that's that's the way that you guys get xp but of course but of course but of course, but of course, if you guys are actually past that tier, you guys can still pro it, but you guys won't get any XP, which does suck. But for the most part, you guys can actually get a whole lot of XP from it. And that, in the set, in the in the set, in the in the in the same in the in in the in the set in the in this in the same in the same thing will actually go for like whenever you guys are actually proing like it, whenever you guys are actually proing a uh, an invasion card for um like pretty well if you guys are actually proing pretty much a. If you guys are actually proing like a normal card, like even like a base card, or even if you guys are proing like an event card as well, like this Damian Priest or like Ray Ripley card, you got you guys what you guys will get like thousands, you guys will at least get like two thousand plus XP or even more from just like actually just proing like a base card or even like an event card of that card, you know, because 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 you because you guys will actually be able to get a whole lot of XP, and that's actually the thing. Pro and actually like proing cards is definitely like one of the biggest ways of actually getting a whole lot of XP. And the same thing goes for like getting a tier card, well, pretty much base cards, and getting event cards. Then you guys can actually pro both of them and actually get tons of XP from that. That's why getting a whole lot of tier cards is really massive. Well, pretty much pretty big. And also, then whenever you guys pro them, then you guys get then you guys get at least a couple thousand XP per card of that tier that you guys are currently on and then you, then you'll be able to get the tier, tier or well you'll be able to get the XP now that now pretty much one of the, now pretty much one of the biggest ways of actually getting uh, pretty much of actually getting a whole lot of XP of actually getting a whole lot of XP from another big way of actually doing that to even even make that possible besides like some of the other ways I showed you from like making the cards or actually getting them from survivor 
I mean, I mean, I I guess you guys can also get them in like team stuff, pretty much, or even and pretty much even like free game modes and actually QR codes, free guest bundles and quests, that type of stuff, and some other cool stuff. You guys can you guys can actually get all the cards on the draft board and the in the best in the in the in the in the best in the, in, in the best in the best way of actually getting a whole lot of draft picks is pretty much getting a whole lot of super coins, and of course the main way of actually getting a whole lot of super coins is pretty much is pretty much in the uh, money money. Money, money, the bank, money, money, the bank, TVG, Team Sovereign PVP campaign and bundles, which is really cool. Let me show you guys. As I said, I showed you guys some of the main ways of actually getting a whole lot of super coins, which is really cool. And then, but as I said, whenever you guys get a whole lot of super coins, then you guys can actually do the draft picks times 25 pack. You can do this three times in a row and head over to the draft board and actually try to get a tier card on the draft board. But what's actually cool though. What's actually cool though, every time you guys level up on your tier, it makes it a lot easier for the rarity pool with the rarity pool board to actually make it a lot to make it closer to you guys to actually getting a tier pool. And the same thing goes for all of the other tiers as well. The more you upgrade, the easier it will be for you guys to actually get a whole lot of XP. What it would actually get a tier pool and actually get a whole lot of XP. So it actually save you from like spending any like credits and anything anything like that. So you don't have to actually spend money and stuff. You know what I mean? And then if and then of course and then of course and then of course, whenever you guys actually get your, uh, whenever you guys actually get your tier pool, and of course with your tier pool, you guys get XP, and pretty much any card that you guys, that you guys pick from the draft board, you guys get XP as well. But whenever you guys, whenever you guys, whenever there's cards you don't need, then you guys can actually turn them into dust, and then you guys get a rarity pick, and then head over to the rarity board and try to get a tier pool of that tier that you're on, and then try to get XP from that as well. So. But as I but as I but as I said though, guys, that is actually that is a lot of the different ways that you guys can actually get. A whole lot of XP, and of course, and of course, and of course, though I do know from like um, from some of these like different game modes and what different like events that come out, you guys can always get XP from those. You guys can always get like a bunch of XP from like free packs and stuff, free game modes. I understand that you guys can even do like QR codes and a bunch of other stuff. But pretty much what you're trying to do, you're pretty much trying to get a whole lot of XP from like you know like free game modes and stuff. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get you're trying to get a whole lot of XP. From like a lot of a lot of the different game modes and free packs and stuff, that's pretty much all free. You know what I mean? So yeah, so it's pretty much all free if that makes sense. Yeah, pretty cool though. But guys, but guys, the but guys, but guys, but guys though, but guys though, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you guys, let me know if this helped you guys out. And as I said, if you guys need any more help, let me know in the comments. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you guys have a hit, hit the 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 like button, hit the like, hit the like button down below, hit the subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel, hit the little bell. Hit like guys know whenever I post a video. And guys, and guys. And guys, 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 and gu